Uh, this can be good. Play this on turn one and buff something on turn two. That guy can go away. Um, do I just keep Grimes? So we, we need something to do on turn two. <coughs> Excuse me. We can play this on turn one and we can play Purgatos on a mana tile and buff it on turn three. So we need we need something to do on turn two. I feel like Grimes is better to play on curve than Arctic Displacer. So I'm going to ship him. Chromatic could be okay. We can also develop this. Um, in fact, if our opponent doesn't contest this mana tile, we can actually go here and then play Purgatos on one of these tiles and buff it on turn two. That'd be pretty spicy. I'm going to hold on to this because it's my only removal spell. I feel like Fire Spitter might be good, but it dies to Plasma Storm. I'm going to look for the three drop in case everything goes wrong. Frostfire is also okay. Right. Give me a creep. Okay, good. So worst comes to worst, we can play Snow Rippler and buff it. If this dies, we can still make a 4-5 and not waste the Kinetic Surge. Okay. I think Earthwalk is fine. So do we just put Purgatos in the front here? I think that's best. Opponent has a 4-4, which Purgatos matches up well against. But maybe the Snow Rippler is better, actually, because it draws us cards. We don't even need to use this mana tile, so we can leave the Cryptographer out of harm's way. The Rippler will die, which is a shame, because I kind of want to Frostfire it. Good options here, actually. I suppose Purgatos is more mana efficient. If my opponent has some sort of ping, that kind of sucks, because he can ping this and kill this, and then develop another threat. Uh, if he has a buff for this, I guess Purgatos is better. Yeah, let's go for Purgatos, just for mana efficiency's sake. Because we can play a Snow Rippler and buff it next turn, regardless of whether we use mana tiles in the process. So here we just gotta hope that uh, Purgatos decides to hit my opponent with his abilities. I think I'm gonna keep these cards. This is a good... Like, if this gets massively buffed, we can Chromatic hold it. This is great for Snow Rippler shenanigans. I'm gonna say go. That's good as well. Get more Kinetic Surges. Okay, I feel somewhat better. I guess, so this is also vulnerable to natural selection. I didn't think of that. Although I'm not sure we could do anything to play around that. That's kind of a good sign. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's a Dispel Magnet if ever I saw one. What have you got? What have you got? Blood tear the face. Wow, opponent could have actually just cleared. Um... And didn't. So I can chromatic one of these guys. I feel like I just want to go face with Purgatos here. Um, like we can come up this way. I think I'm still playing a buff Rippler, right? Probably here where the uh, Earthwalker can't reach it. And Kinetic Surging. And then we can try and Frostfire it next turn to either kill this or him. I want so that means I want to body block him, so I want to come like here. So we can put the snow rippler down. No wait, I need to chromatic this, don't I? Do I? Can I just avoid his stuff for like two turns? No, I think I need to I, I need to not lose. Which means do I just want to frostfire this and smack him in the face for a million damage? That sounds like fun, let's do that. So we chromatic the Maloki Huntress. I'm going to come up this way. Punch this. Come on, hit him for 10. Do it. Damn it. Well, healing me is not bad either. Um, do I keep all these? Yeah. Refilling my hand is good. So now, my opponent can trade with this. But he risks taking all the damage. And we can try and run away from this Earthwalker for a little while. Ah, oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I can punch this, but... Then I have to clear the Earthwalker. 
Um. <laughs> I mean, this is great if we draw something to deal with it next turn. Um. My opponent can't really remove it. They could have Thumping Wave. Do I just run away and develop Twilight Sorcerer? Because we, we've got a chance of getting Chromatic back. It's like a one, it's a one in three, but it's better than nothing. I don't think that really helps, though. If I play this, it acts as at least a threat. Like, if my opponent comes closer, he dies. Um, so there's that. But I doubt my opponent's going to want to attack me in the face anyway. I think this might still be worth it. If nothing else, just for entertainment value. Let's see how this goes. We're still on the hook to kill this. Um, although I guess the 10-4 can trade with it. Oh wait, War Beast. You can have War Beast. Natural select Natural Selection is own guy. What was that for? Is that to set up another natural selection? Oh no, he This guy has really good cards in his deck. Be careful of McCantle. Yeah, I mean I'm not sure. I guess I could play it over here and hope to draw the Ice Blade Dryad, but pff, whatever. You can still McCantor it anyway. No, I think he just messed up. Okay. Right. Ice Blade Dryad. No. Grimes is still good. I like Grimes. We can Grimes. Um, I'm sure he's a second natural selection, but forgot his 7-7. Seven, seven. That's probably what happened, yeah. That's, that would be my guess. Uh... So if I play this and it spawns here or here, the 7-7 seven, seven can, or, well, 8-8, eight, eight, can eat it. My opponent's just going to run away with this, but that's kind of fine, because we have two cards that make the Arctic Displacer teleport up and kill him. If I play Grimes on this side, it can't spawn near the 7-7, seven, seven, which is helpful. I risk taking 4, but that's not actually a huge deal. Um... I'm going to take the opportunity to play around... No, I still can't play around Warbeast, can I? That's not bad. Try and, give me, try and make a buffed ranged unit next turn. I think we just have to assume he doesn't have Warbeast. I mean, he certainly didn't have it last turn. Um, probably wanted to buff it. Oh yeah, he could have also been, like, misclicked. Yeah, maybe he hit the Primordial Gazer. My god. That's terrifying. <clears throat> so, they have one neutral legendary at least. Uh, play, ooh. This could get us thingy. So we can do Blazehound Snow Rippler, although I'd rather develop the Fire Spitter at that point. Um, if we kill this, we can get in. I think I want to suicide the Grimes, though. I need to not die to this 8-8. Uh, if I play this, I can get Chromatic Cold. I think now's my best chance to do that. And I can also Body Block. Booyah! So what do I even kill with it? This'll be... This'll die and this'll die. I'm not worried about this, I guess. I'm gonna get rid of this. I need to keep myself safe.
damn it. <laughs> that was terrible. Primus. Opponent can still reach me with Warbeast if he has, or reach this with Warbeast if he has one. Um, only one card left in hand though. So we, we still have an Ephemeral Shroud, so we can't actually kill this. Ow. This is fun. Okay, so no cards played. That might mean another natural selection. It might mean a buff spell. Probably means we don't want to play this Blaze Hound. That's good. That's on three health. So close. Alright, I think now we develop the Fire Spitter. I think that's the thing that happens. Uh, can I play around Warbeast? I think the answer to that is still no. Oh, I can play a f uh, four power Snow Rippler in this thing's way. Veil Hunter also good. Come on! So this doesn't die to natural selection. Plasma Storm natural selection gets this in. Um, we can get a kill with Hearth Sister if we draw it. We can obviously get a kill with Ice Blade, dry it if we draw it. What's this? Another Lava Slasher? No, Repulsive Beast. Okay, sure. That's fine. This guy's gonna die to the ranged unit anyway. Fine too. Dice to this. Okay. This is going very well. <laughs> um, let's not overcommit into like Plasma Storm. Oh. Drawing cards. Let's draw cards. I like drawing cards. Right, so we shoot this. Kill this. Gonna drop this little guy. Put down a circle so it body blocks the ranged unit. I guess I may as well play the Arctic. Dis uh, the Arctic. No, nope, he's having none of it. All right. Whew. That was a bit tense. <laughs>